Well, we are live from Ash Grove High School tonight. The Houston Tigers kick off the 2017 season with a 36 to 14 loss to Ash Grove. Jeff McNeil, the Houston Herald, joined by Houston Tiger coach Eric Sloan. Uh, coach, on the way up here, we were talking. This final score didn't really seem indicative of how this game played out. Uh, one score ball game, pretty late in the ball game. Yeah, yeah, um, and then some turnovers and, and short field. Uh, you know, makes makes it look just a little bit worse than it was. But, uh, you know, we put the ball on the ground, turned it over, and, and I don't know how many points come off of that, but um, it's going to be several, I think. <clears throat> well, let's start with some positives for your team, Coach. I uh, thought we saw some fight tonight from your guys, and I, a lot of energy um, bouncing around on defense, sidelines up. Um, I'm sure that's the type of attitude that you want to see your team play with, right? Yeah, yeah, um, especially the second half. That, that first series we come out, um, you know, we kept telling them at halftime, <laughs> you know, we, we just got to gotta believe. You got you to gotta, you gotta know something positive is about to happen. And uh, we come out and, and just marched the ball right down the field. And we blocked up front and did everything that we were supposed to do. And, and we put points on the board. And, and it was just kind of like the light come on when they come to the sideline. And all of a sudden it was just like, hey, we can do this. And, and you know, we got right back in the thing for a little bit, and um, you know we, we struggled a little bit defensively. We'd go uh, third down and whatever, and then we'd we'd let them get a first down, and then we just couldn't get off the field um, third and long. Um, just just allowed them to keep drives alive, and uh, it's just it's just little things like that that, that we're going to have to to correct. It was a 22 to 14 game. Seemed like we had all the momentum. Had a long touchdown by Evan Richardson. Uh, got a stop. First down on the 48, a lateral pass that's called a fumble, and things kind of get sideways from there. Um, what happened on that play? Was it a lateral pass? And just talk about how they kind of gained the momentum and, and ran with it there. You know, we'd scored. We'd run the same play previous and and, and <laughs> broke it for a big run uh, there and scored. So we come right back to it. We had it blocked. I thought the ball was thrown right down the line. Uh, the one ref, he'd, he'd said he didn't know. The one said he thought it was backwards, and I guess when you when you don't take care of business and you allow you know that to happen, that I, I don't I don't know I don't know if it was or if it wasn't, but uh, I guess we took a gamble and it didn't pay off. Well, you did take a gamble the previous series, and it did play off as uh, a payoff as Peyton Dixon hit Evan Richardson for a 50-yard score. Before we get to the play. Did Coach Boulder McKinney really tell you to run that? He told me to ask you. Yeah, he, he, he did. <laughs> he wants the credit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, and he deserves it. Um, I mean, that's something we just put in probably Wednesday. Um, it is it's something when they're penetrating up the middle, something just to get the ball out. Um, we were struggling up front. We, we weren't having much luck, and we just thought if we could block the edge, you know, just maybe. And at that point, there wasn't really anything to lose, so we threw it out there, and it was a nice – Pitch and catch, and, and Aiden did a great job on his block, and, you know, Evan went to the house. So um, he did a great job, and then I guess we got a little greedy. We tried to come right back mm -hmm. with it, and, um, you know, it didn't work out that time. 14 to nothing at the half. Um, could have been worse. Had a nice defensive stop early on yeah. inside the red zone. Um, you were pretty animated at the half. Uh, what did you say to your guys, and what did you not like about that first half? You know, we just we just weren't willing to fight. Um, you know, we were, we were wanting to make excuses, and – you know, it was just kind of like the here we go again. And, you know, I don't I don't know how to get that mentality changed. Um, you know, I challenged them. I said, you know, it, it's, football's just life. You know, there's going to be a there's going to be a time you're going to lose your job. What are you going to do? You're going to have a, you're going to have kids at home and a wife at home and, and you got you got to pay the bills. What are you going to do? You got to you're going to go to work. And you're going to going to find another job or or I mean, things are going to happen in life. You can't dwell on that. You got to have have a backup plan you got to step up and you know they all agreed that we were better than we were playing and and you know they bought in but you know we can't wait 14-0 we can't we were going to have to be self-motivators mm -hmm. and and just be hungry and you know I think at times we showed that but at, at, at other times I don't know we're, we just I don't know we're going to have to look at film and and see exactly what we're going to have to get fixed. We knew one of the games uh, coming to this uh, t tonight was stopping their quarterback uh, just a Really nice player, really good with his feet and hard to contain, and he kind of proved that again tonight, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah, very special athlete. I mean, he deserved every uh, postseason award that, that he received last year, as did the running back. Uh, I mean, not blazing speed with the running back, but he's got good vision, and he, he runs hard, and, and, you know, they're pretty sound up front. And, you know, he just kept kept fighting, but, man, that quarterback is he's dead. He's deadly. 
Um, he just does so many different things well, and you, you just can't rattle him. And uh, I, I don't know. He's he's special. He's he's worthy of every honor that that he's going to receive. Is it fair to say we didn't wrap up well at times on defense? Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty fair assessment. And, uh, you know, in, in practice, we've been we've been doing a pretty good job tackling. So, um, you know, that kind of shocked me just a little bit. I thought we were a little bit better tacklers than than what we showed tonight. And, um, you know, hopefully that's just a sign of it being early and and that's something we can get fixed. Well, the nature of football is you've got an opponent now. You've got to prepare for St. James will come to Houston next Friday night for the home opener. Um, I know you haven't studied film on there, but we know the personnel that they have in back, and yep. I guess it's safe to say they'll they'll be a challenge this week as you guys prepare for another tough game. Absolutely, I don't know. They I think they return eight or nine starters on offense and and something close to that on defense. Uh, I think last year they had four or five seniors. Um, quarterback's the coach's kid, so you know his his football IQ is very high, um, very talented. They got a big old tall receiver, um, you know, and and that coach has been there for I don't know 13, 14 years. And, I mean, the system's pretty well installed, and, and they've done the same thing for many, many years. And, you know, they they do what they do very well. Right. Um, and they they want to spread us out and put us in space and and play backyard football, and, and they always know where the open seam is, and they they just sit down in the open area. And, I mean, it's just I mean, it's obvious that they've been together for a very long time, and they do a lot of things very well. Okay. Well, Coach, we'll let you go and talk to your guys. Uh to our ride home tonight, so we'll get back on the road as well. We'll see you next Friday at home. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Well, that's going to do it here from Ashgrove High School. The Tigers lose their opener tonight to the Ashgrove Pirates, 36-14. to We appreciate everyone joining you, joining us, and we'll see you next week from Tiger Stadium in Houston. Thanks.